Hello, this is T-Rex bringing you back for some more Final Fantasy VII Remake. In the last episode, we deleted, or defeated the horde of mysterious specters that were plaguing the Sector Seven slums here, and we got rehired by Avalanche to take Jesse's place for the job with the assault on Mako Reactor 5. And so off screen, I did a couple of mundane activities like return to Stargazer Heights to rest up and to restore my HP and MP. And then made my way over here to the train station, which is where we can get the next sequence of main event storylines to unfold. But there were several changes that I made to my party off screen as well that I want to go over changes that I feel are important and so this could be sort of a lengthy conversation so if anyone's looking for a more action oriented sequence of the episode I encourage you to fast forward a bit but for those who might be playing along I figured I'd go ahead and dive into some of the changes I made with the hope of maybe providing some strats that could be useful so go ahead and open up the main menu and Barrett's not in the status screen yet, but we do have access to Barrett. We have access to Barrett's equipment, and we can also upgrade his weapon at this point. And so Barrett will very shortly be rejoining the fold as a party member, and so we want to be sort of mindful of that. So I guess the first thing that I want to go over is some of the upgrades I made to Barrett's, Barrett's weapon off screen. So let's go ahead and open up the Gatling gun. And we have the initial core available, and then we have our first sub-core available as well. And, and I touched briefly on the differences, so namely we can see that sort of the way that the skills are set up vary between what we've seen with Cloud and Tifa and Barrett. Namely, he has six available for his first sub-core, which is two more than we observe on any of the weapons that we've acquired with Tifa and Cloud thus far. And so... He has quite a few good abilities available in my opinion, at least with how I would like to build him as far as keeping him, I guess, diverse from the rest of the party members, sort of specialized, I guess. And so taking that into account, I unlocked the new materia slot here in the first subcore. And then in addition to that, I unlocked the second materia slot here in the other subcore. And so I also unlocked the defense plus four bonus. And the reason why I elected to do that is I think in a previous episode I mentioned that it was very possible to build Barrett into a tank type role in the original Final Fantasy VII. And so that sort of is going to be the way that I choose to develop him, if at all possible, from here on out. And so other abilities that I haven't unlocked yet that would be appealing to me as far as going that route would include the magic defense plus four here and then the max hp plus 100 as well and then in addition to that there's a max hp plus 100 in the first core that we could unlock as well but we're restricted currently on sp at the moment and i'm sort of prioritizing the magic defense plus four for the next upgrade and so as a result, I, I'm holding off on spending the other 4 SP at my disposal at the moment. And so the Gatling gun only came with one Materia slot. And so by giving, unlocking the other two Materia slots, we certainly increased the total number of Materia that Barrett can carry, which is nice as well. So we'll go ahead and take a look at Materia Loadout next because I did a significant amount of rearrangement to that off screen. And so for Cloud, I gave him the Lightning Materia, which I pulled off of Barrett's equipment. I gave him back the MP Up Materia, and I gave him an Assess and a First Strike Materia. And so typically I'd be giving this to Tifa, but given how the series of combat sequences play out in this particular episode, he's got it. And it will probably I'll probably drop it from the loadout once the episode gets underway. Some way into it after some combat. So I elected not to give him a summon. 
And then I have one other materia slot free, which I'll demonstrate why I left that free here later on in the episode as well. Tifa, I gave the wind materia the, in the ice materia too, as well as the fire materia. And I gave her the Ifrit materia, namely for the attack power boost again. And then really for the way that I'm currently building Tifa, the only real materia that is sort of catering to her build is the luck up in an attempt to maybe increase the frequency in which I'm getting critical hits with her by raising her luck. And then I also gave her the deadly dodge as well. And so these up here, um, the wind is a nice addition, I feel, but the ice and the fire, the fire could conceivably be a good addition as well, but the ice is just something that I pretty much slotted to gain experience on. And so really that's sort of subject to personal preference, I feel, as far as what we're putting in here. But keeping our material leveled up and continuing to gain as much AP on that as possible is, is always a good thing to be mindful of. And then Barrett, I gave him the newly acquired AT boost materia that we got in the last episode. I also gave him the healing materia, uh, cleansing materia, as well as the barrier materia. And the barrier materia confers the nice stat bonuses. That's the main reason why I elected to give him the barrier materia is we see that it gives a nice plus one bonus to our spirit and magic defense. And we also gain bonuses to our magic attack and magic as well as our MP, which I'm a little less interested in, but it's still nice to have on as a result. And then in addition to that, I gave him the cactar summon materia for a bit of an HP boost as well. So there were some other changes to equipment that I made. Not a whole lot. Um, I gave Cloud the earrings as an accessory. Still left the corneal armlet on him and the iron blade. Tifa's still got the Shinra bangle. I gave her the power wristbands for a bit of an attack power boost yet again. And then Barrett, I gave the Midgar bangle, which is a DLC item as well. Because it's got a higher defense and magic defense boost than the iron bangle that he comes equipped with and i gave him the bulletproof vest for a bit of a boost to vitality and defense power as well so go ahead and look at stats just to sort of go over that i guess and maybe paint a bit clearer picture why it is that i elected to outfit everyone the way i did and so it should be evident from my builds at this point that Cloud's got the highest magic attack power at 99, which is sort of what I'm seeking at this point. He's probably the best one to make use of magic materia at the moment. Barrett's defense is at 48. His vitality is the highest, but Cloud's sort of ahead of him on the defense for the time being because of the defense boost on the Iron Blade that we unlocked a few episodes back. So, and then Tifa's got the highest attack power here, as well as luck and speed. So, Cloud's got the highest MP total, and then Barret's got the highest HP total. Barret's also a level behind everyone at the moment, and so once we gain that level, he should um, catch up a little bit more, or start to show a bit more strength in the stats that... I'm trying to develop in, in specifically, namely his vitality, his HP, his defense, and his magic defense and spirit would be nice to go up as well. So I think that about summarizes all the off-screen changes I made to loadout and party. Um, here on the train stand, there are a few interesting interactions that can take place. I'm not going to go into them. We can go down and see Johnny's mother again, though. She's standing there off in the distance right next to Tifa. Johnny's father's up here too. We can coax a couple dot lines of dialogue out of him as well. And then Chadley's over here as well, but there's nothing for me to do with him right now. I just mentioned all that in passing as they are things that we can um, observe here if we so desire. So I'll go ahead and talk with Barrett now to advance the main quest. Hi, people. 
Mission starts the moment we board that train. You sure you ready for this? We can go ahead and select the yes, I'm ready to go, so. Do you think Biggs is on schedule? All we can do is hope. Today really got to be the day, huh? Ain't no stopping this train we're on, son. A lot of people risk their lives to get it rolling. Already put the word out, more's coming too. You shut them all down by the day, but we shut another down for you. Ain't on us, not us. Play it cool. That our arrival in Sector 4 will be later than scheduled. The target's Marco Reactor 5. From the station, we take the back streets. Once we're inside the facility, it's the same deal as last time. Head for Marco storage. And then, blow it all to hell. Let's do this one for Jesse and Wedge. They deserve it. I didn't think word would spread this fast. There's barely anyone on this train, and none of them look happy to be here. Might stand out as a group. You two stay here. <laughs> All right, so at this point, we want to go ahead and move on up towards Tifa. We can check our main quest objective, though. Hmm. Maybe not. So we'll just go ahead and move up towards Tifa. Cloud. The train will be passing an ID checkpoint shortly. Here comes the first hurdle. Not much of one. I know, I know, but that doesn't mean I don't have butterflies in my stomach. things the next car over. I'm worried there might be trouble. Why is that? Barrett's always on edge before missions. But you know he's a good guy underneath it all. The people on this train don't. He'll be fine. Maybe. But I won't be until I know for sure. <sighs> be right back. Thanks. We get a couple lines of dialogue out of Tifa here. None of this has faced you at all, has it? Comes with being a soldier. They train you to be ready for anything. Wish I was. Keep an eye on Barrett for me, would you? Keep an eye on Barrett for me, would you? And that should about do it there. So, do you still support those terrorists? Avalanche is a flight on Midgar. Huh? Their bomb threat has thrown our offices into chaos, let alone the reactor itself. It's total insanity! But we won't lose heart. 
No! Everyone at Shinra agrees. The reactor will stay online. <laughs> Is that right? Uh, what? Y you got a problem with that? Do I have a problem with that? Oh, you can bet. He doesn't. You know you're better than that. <laughs> go see how Tifa's doing. She knew what you want than I do. Why don't you go check on Tifa? Quit screwing around here. Go see how Tifa's doing. She needs you more than I do. I also interact with the Shinra employee. I have nothing more to say to you and your friends. The Sector 4 office has got the worst of it. Everyone's panicking over there. Just leave me alone. And over here is a piece, an orb of materia we can pick up. And it's healing materia. And this is what I sla saved the vacant slot for on Cloud. And so I'm going to go ahead and put that in at this point. And so I guess it's worth mentioning as well that I stayed away from the highest level healing materia. I guess I'm trying to accumulate AP on the lower level ones at the moment under the notion that I do that now that it could be handy having some higher level spells on multiple types of materia or having a group of the same materia that are more closely leveled and a have access to higher level magic as a result um, when the combat sequences in the game little, get a little bit more difficult I guess rather than trying to unlock the higher tier spells as quick as possible and I've sort of done that with the fire materials too is rather than go for Fyra, I've been electing to use the one with lesser experience on it and pick up some more AP with the intent of getting them a little bit closer together as far as total SP goes, I guess, so or AP goes. So, so figured I'd mention that too. Um, we can get a line of dialogue here by going up to the door, but I'm not going to do that. I'll just go ahead and head on back towards Tifa. That's where the next main quest objective go is at. We just get blocked going that direction. There's several opportunities to get blocked in this episode and get some extra dialogue, but I probably won't be looking to observe a whole lot of those, so. Emergency ID scan in progress. Huh? No what way! Emergency ID scan in progress. Unauthorized ID detected. Threat level critical. <laughs> Inspection and containment suite initiated, commencing at the rear of the train. Not good. Get over here! Now! Take care of them, Cloud! Bought it. Lockdown all right, and so let's go ahead and assess our foes here. We get a new type of enemy called Slug Ray. And so these are mechanical type monsters and as should be expected they are weak to lightning which is why I equipped the lightning material on cloud. They also have a weakness to wind which I thought was a little interesting. And it says the physical attacks rapidly fill the stagger gauge so. Keep moving, people. <laughs> And we are flying solo in this battle, so that's worth acknowledging. And we also only have three minutes to complete it. Lightning! 
Shinra, I'm the enemy. I don't care. I don't want anyone to die. Please. I'll look after the others. My turn. <laughs> Crawling with security. We gotta jump. Screw that. We need to slow the train down. <sighs> Sounds like a big plan. E. <laughs> Tifa now. As she has the superior attack power. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and actually switch some materia up. The Slug Ray is the only new foe that we're going to fight in this sequence. So I can go ahead and take off the Assess materia. And I'm going to go ahead and put the First Strike back on Tifa. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do with Cloud with the two empty slots. I'm going to give him the fire materia that I had on Tifa at one point for just a few moments prior. And I'm going to give him the revival materia as well, namely for the stat boosts again. And I guess one of the things that I failed to go over at the start of the episode was shortcuts. And so I had a Cess linked here, but I can take that off as we're done with that now. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that with fire. Um, had Thunder set as well, here and Focus Thrust. For Tifa, I had High Potion, Arrow, Fire, which I'm going to take off now, and Unbridled Strength. Barret, I gave here and Focus Shot to. So, and I'm not using the shortcuts a whole lot because I like the way that the tactical mode slows combat now but it's sort of a nice way for me I guess to make a mental note of attacks that I want to utilize in the sequence so we'll go, we'll go ahead and keep moving with that we want to open up the map here and there's a couple areas here along the corkscrew tunnel or a few areas actually that we want to be mindful of little alcoves that we can stop off and uh, get some pickups rather than just head straight for the 
main quest objective. We can sprint to save some time. There isn't much to do in this room. We can smash some crates though. That's about it really in here. See if we can't get maybe an item or some MP shards or something, or macro shards or something like that. So. And then the next area we want to stop off at is right around the area where we got into their very first encounter. As we can see that there's a vending machine here, so we should probably check that out as we got a tutorial a couple episodes back about how they can sometimes contain discount items. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And I know from advance that there's not anything here that I want to pick up, but I just figured I'd go ahead and show it off and just to be mindful of it. And we have a bench here, so let's go ahead and rest up, restore our HP and MP to full. Check our map here. Get over to the other side. We have a treasure up here that we can pick up. We've got a couple high potions for that. Go ahead and check the map again. And our main quest objective is way up here, so. <laughs> well done, well done. I felt sure we had them, didn't you? Sir. Born survivors is surats. Speaking of which, where's the third? In custody, sir. Return it to the wild. Yes, sir. Right away. <sighs> I got a cutscene with Heidegger. He's one of the top ranking Shinra officials. We saw him during the assault on Mako Reactor 1. It's them! We have a visual on the target! Requesting immediate Don't assistance! It. Let me handle this! I'm waiting. Bring it! off here with a few potions. We'll use one on cloud too, why not? Nothing up there, so we can go ahead and keep moving. Ah! 
He's close. Come on. There. <laughs> Baron. Tifa, could use some help here. We're coming. Make it quick. Should be some stairs over there. We'd better hurry. Yeah. I've had it up to here with you damn robo bugs. I'm gonna rip off those spindly legs okay. of yours These one by stairs. one. Switch to Barrett. Don't let any of them escape. And so, in switching to Barrett, we want to be mindful of a couple things, or one thing in particular, and that is that I need to level the his skill, which is the focus shot, I believe. So before we go up and interact with Barrett, there is another alcove down here that we want to loot. So I'm going to head that direction first. Treasure in there is pretty worthwhile. Get some crates to smash. Over here is a chest that we can open to obtain an elixir. So, and elixirs are very good. We've acquired a couple of them. And what they do is they fully restore our HP and MP. So we definitely want to save these for when we're in dire straits. Typically we can't buy them. Usually they're, they're rare items that get dropped. And somewhere along the line we acquired an orb of gravity. Maybe from one of the slug rays we took down. And so it looks like it casts a demi type spell, which reduces the max HP of our foes by 25%. So we'll have to make a note of that one there. We will get a few more of them as, as we go. So keep moving with that. Go ahead and head back towards Barrett. And if we try and head too far away from the main quest objective, we, we get stopped on each occasion. So it's the only thing to do is to head back and see what Barrett's got to say at this point as far as getting back on track with the mission, as he said. So Looks like it's gonna be plan E. Go on. Plan A was if everything went off without a hitch. From the station, it would have been a straight shot to the reactor. Didn't work out, but we knew going in we had to have alternatives. Backup plans, case we had to get off early. From closer in to further out, B, C, D, and so on. Up to what? To E. Lucky us. Yeah. <laughs> You're damn right. Anyway, we were riding the train between Sector 4 and the main pillar when we had to bail out. And we ended up on the adjacent line, which should take us to Reactor 5. That's right. So for now, we follow the tracks. Not too far, though. Need to switch to a different route before we hit the station. 
because you can bet your ass it's gonna be crawling with security. All on high alert. Let's move. Our friends in 75 marked the route, so don't worry about getting lost. It's a straight shot to victory, people! All we gotta do is take it! You have nothing to worry about, sir. Preparations for the grand finale are proceeding without incident. I have the utmost confidence that everything will play out as you intended. Yes, of course. I will not fail you, sir. <sighs> sir, analytics reports that the results fall within the admissible range. However, the casualty rate significantly exceeds previous projections. Ah. Remind me what your job is. Is it to question the wisdom of your superiors and bemoan your personal hardships? Sir? Huh. Casualty rate. You think I care about the casualty rate? They're pawns in a greater game. If your stock runs low, then go round up more from Sector 3 or wherever else. Use your head and bring me solutions instead of problems for a change, yes? Sir. <laughs> it is so hard to find good help these days. Which is why the President ought to count his blessing. What would he do without me? <laughs> well, and Heidegger seems to be hatching some sort of plan there. I guess we'll just have to be patient and keep going to figure out what it is that he is trying to accomplish. But I think that this is going to be a good place to stop here. I'll have to make some changes off screen again, namely to equipment and materia. And I definitely think that focusing on leveling up the, the focus shot here with Barrett is going to be priority one. So putting him in a leadership role for the next episode is probably going to be one of the things that I elect to do. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and save my progress. And that will wrap this episode up. So thanks for watching and tune in next time.